everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and today I want to talk to you about surf fishing you know the, during this time of the year fishing the surf fishing the beachfront for a lot of us it's it's where a lot of the action is you know this time of the year you can get some very nice and thick speckled trout you can catch some very fun and rewarding jackfish and also Spanish mackerel don't forget there's still reds and even flounder out there During this time of the year, I really do target the surf a lot. Whether I'm fishing via rock, rock groins, or even walking in the water and wade fishing. Hey, but before we go any further, don't forget, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. It really helps the channel out a lot if you do subscribe to the channel. And also like this video. We also have a Patreon page. So if you're into fishing reports, kayak put-ins, kayak launches, and fishing forecasts, behind-the-scenes footage, if that's the kind of stuff that interests you and you want further content from Texas All Water Fishing, then click the link in the description section below. And most of everything that I'm going to be talking about is in the description section as well as far as what apps I'm using, what sites I'm using, sponsors, so on and so forth. All right, so surf fishing, fishing the beachfront, not necessarily fishing like surf fishing with surf rods, but definitely fishing the surf and fishing the beachfront. One of the questions I am often asked is, how do you know when the surf is clean? How do you know when is the right time to be out there and get in on some of that beachfront action? Well, there is no... Uh, there's no exact way to predict when the fur when the surf is going to be clean, when it's going to be flat. Uh, it's like predicting the weather. Actually, in my mind, it's harder to predict than when the surf is going to be flat and clean. It's harder to predict that than it is to predict the weather because it takes the weather and also tide and water movement. You know, these all play a part and a role on how clean the surf is going to get. First and foremost is the wind. You know, the wind, when the wind shifts out of certain directions or when it calms down is when you're going to get that flatter beachfront. You get those flatter waves and that's going to give you a trickle effect on how clean the surf is going to get. Typically, if you do have winds coming out of the west, that is a ultimate killer. But when the, the as far as water clarity goes, but when the winds do fall down, if they're coming out of the south, southeast, the the waves will go down. Ideally, you want to have a northern wind. So if you get a nice, good north wind, or even very calm, it can really flatten out a calm north wind. They can really flatten out the surface quite the surface of the beachfront quite a lot, as it will calm those waves down and give you almost a very smooth and glass lake appeal what that does is that like i said it calms the waves down and what that does is that it helps get a lot of that settlement a lot of that sand it it really will calm that down and let that fall just a little bit so you can get that good water clarity and get several feet if not anywhere four to six feet of visibility at times one of the apps that I do use is WindFinder. Now, this is a great app. I, I use windy.com. I use, I have used all kind of apps over the last handful of years trying to fish to surf or just fish in general. I have found that WindFinder is, lately, it has been the best 
app when predicting the win. Now, it's not 100%. None of this is 100%. It's extremely hard to predict um, any kind of weather, pa weather pattern, let alone when the surf is going to clean up. So these are just tools that I use and that's going to help me uh, so I know I'm out there at the right time. So I just wanted to share the, this with you. So if you look at this graph right here, this is windfinder.com. And yes, there's also an app you can find in your app stores. But you can see right here the wind direction is 10 miles an hour. And today is one day, July 6th. Or today is actually July 5th. But if you look and you can just kind of see the pattern as it goes on. So you can kind of see and predict when will be the best available time for you won't be the best available day for you when you are looking at uh, trying to predict or when you're looking at wanting to get out there on the water you can see right here on Sunday you have a more western wind and like I said before that western wind will really kill that water clarity so over the next course of the next couple days it looks like we're gonna have some nice wind we'll have some nice wind no matter where you're fishing but uh, just keep in mind that when you start getting into these western winds that that really can choke the visibility for you. Uh, nine miles an hour winds isn't too bad, but you do want something a little lower than that. Uh, the lower the better, like I said. The winds really help predict and help forecast and help give you a better uh, better fishing conditions when it comes to water clarity. Now, the difference in fishing clean and dirty water, especially for trout, is a lot of fish activity and a lot of big fish. Doesn't mean you can't catch nice trout in dirtier water, but typically trout like cleaner water. They feed a lot off site, so that's really going to help you in the long run is finding that clean water and hitting that surf in clean water. And when you are going to wade fish to surf, having flatter water means that you have to do a lot less jumping. You have to, you know, your 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 reel isn't going to take as many dips when you are fishing in flatter water. And, you know, you're not going to be as worn out. And it's going to be a little just easier to fish. Well, let's, let's just face it. When you have those big swells coming over you and you're trying to wade fish, it's just no fun. All right, so one of the apps that I do use when I am looking at the surf is swellinfo.com. Now, I've, I've told several of you this before, but it's a question that keeps coming up. Now, I use swellinfo.com. Right here, we have predicted it, it is forecasted for Galveston, and you can go up and down the, the Texas coast or really any coast, but you can see right here with the low winds, it's going to be flat. It will pick up a little bit on this coming Wednesday and then on Thursday but you can just look at what is predicted as far as the chop goes you can see how what the water clarity is fair means it's a little dirty but not too bad but clean is obviously extremely clean when you do have good water visibility but you can look on Friday it's it gets a little better as far as how flat the surf is going to be we're just not going to experience some of that clean water. Now, that may not be the case. The water may really clean up. Like I said, there is no there is no simple answer when you are trying to predict the weather, when especially like I said with the surf. So, you know, you can have a lot of times some scenarios where we think it's going to be clean and it ends up not being clean or we think it's going to be dirty and it ends up coming from nowhere and being clean now beside the wind what also plays a very big role is tide movement now tide plays a very big role tide movement also plays a very big role because sometimes you can see that you do have cleaner water that is out from anywhere to 100 yards to 100 feet and you can watch that cleaner water line get very close and then it will go back farther away and never make it close enough to cast in distance and other days you'll see it will just rush right on in now every almost every time that we do have clean water patterns the tide pattern will move and change sometimes the water will come in on an incoming tide the cleaner water will come in on an incoming tide sometimes the cleaner water will go come in on an outgoing tide i experienced that recently 
where every single time we had an outgoing tide in the afternoon, the cleaner water came in. The app that I do like to use for looking at tide, it's Tides for Fishing. Now, I use this app no matter where I'm fishing, whether I'm fishing in the beachfront or in the bay side. But you can see right here, this is going to, and this tide is based on moon phase. This bite forecast is based on moon phase. So you can see right here, early morning, you're going to have a very, and we, and the setting is real fast, the United States, Texas, and we have it on Pleasure Pier because, again, we're talking about the beachfront. So right here, you have a very strong morning bite at sunrise. High tide is at 9, then you have 922, then you have an outgoing tide all day. And then you have, again, you have another major bite going on. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time explaining, uh, talking about this app. You can get on here and look at it yourself. But this is a lot of very, a lot of very good, useful information as far as showing you when the best time for the bite and the best activity is. But one thing that I would challenge you is even if you're not fishing, just to try to keep your eye on the surf and kind of watch the tide. And that, that will help you for your next time that you planning on going fishing that would help you get a better understanding and on what to look for and what to expect when you when you are going out now you say Ruben how can I keep my eye on the surf I do not live in Galveston I don't live in the area so what can I do how can I keep my eye on the surf I bring me to the very next tool that I use a lot I also use webcams to keep my eye on the surf Saltwater Recon has a free webcams. They also have a monthly fee that they charge if you want more exclusive webcam footage. Um, I, I do the free cams. Uh, you also have 61st Street and 91st Street Pier in Galveston. Those two piers have webcams as well, as well as Galveston um Galveston Island website, they also have webcams. And from my understanding, all these webcams are brought to you by Saltwater Recon. So if you are looking for, uh, wanting to look and see what the water is doing and kind of kind of watch and judge it as this week goes on and kind of look at the tide, look at the wind, keep your eye on the cameras. That's kind of how I predict it and how I watch to make sure that I'm out there at the right time to make sure okay so today we have a outgoing tide all day the winds are going to be flat the winds are going to be calm the water is going to be flat so today if it's if i wake up in the morning and i see that we have a cleaner water in the morning then most likely if the conditions are similar to tomorrow then i will go out in the morning and jump on that and if it happens in the evening and the afternoon as the tide is going out, if the water starts cleaning up, well, then I will jump on that as well. And I will go out in the evening instead of the morning. There isn't any one way to predict the tide and or the water clarity, the clean surf as we call it. Um, I know a lot of people say it's not blue, it's green. But yeah, it's a clean surf. It, it offers a great time to be out there. It offers a lot of fun fish to catch. You know, you can get those speckled trout, those really nice thick, thick speckled trout. You can also get lucky and get some jackfish and some Spanish mackerel. You can get some pompanos out there. If you're if you like whitings, then there's a lot of big whitings out there. It doesn't matter if you're fishing with artificials or you're throwing live shrimp or croaker you know fishing during this time of the season when you do have that warmer water it's a great time to be out there it's also a great time to cool off let's face it you know it is hot during this time of year you got triple digits going on so getting out there in the morning and soaking up some of that sun and leaving out there midday it's just to offer just a great day um, i enjoy it i know my friends enjoy it as well as my son you know we take advantage of, of every moment that we have when we do have those um, lower wind conditions and those better clarity conditions when it comes to fishing out there and weight fishing the beachfront or fishing off the rock grinds off the seawall and you know what there's a lot of great fish being pulled off the piers during this time of the year as well 61st and 90th street don't forget you do also have the jetties so everything i talk to you about and discuss with you you know the there is also settings that you have on tidesforfishing.com uh, swell info 
you know, you can put uh, the jetties, the Freeport jetties, or even go further down to Matagorda. You know, you can tweak, and I challenge you to look at these tools and use these apps. I use all the same apps, with except for Swell Info. I use all the same apps no matter where I'm fishing. If I'm fishing in the bay or in the east, on the east bay, west bay, it doesn't matter. Uh, I use the, the same information. Just kind of help predict. Uh, let, let's me know what to expect when I am not fishing the surf and I'm fishing somewhere else. But hey, thank you guys. Don't forget, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I just wanted to give you this quick information. And this is kind of stuff that we discuss a lot on my Patreon page. I will use these same tools and talk to my Patreons as far as looking at the fishing forecast and looking at my week's plan. And I do a lot of my planning based around the weather and the tide. So if I do have... Uh, better weather weather conditions and tide conditions well i'm going to predict and go down there and hit the surf and if if that's what lays in store for me i also will throw an invite to my patreon so yeah like i said before if that's something you're interested in don't forget to click on that patreon link and check out what we have going on down there but thanks guys i hope next time you catch me hooking up